Hi, I'm just going to do a short video how to read um, blink codes on a Citroen Xantia. This is a Mark 1 I've got. Um, all, all modern cars now I've got OBD2 uh, connectors, so you plug them into a scan tool. Um, but obviously with with the older generation cars, you know 1996 models, which which mine is, you don't have an OBD2 um, uh, connector or, or any way of reading any fault codes from the car. Um, so, so I've, ju I've just drawn this little sketch up and then, then we can go to the car and, and I'll show you how you do it uh, currently my car is ok but in the past I've had um, fault codes like 51 which is the oxygen sensor and um, occasionally when the car stall I may get a 41 which is crankshaft position sensor things like that and I'll show you how to read them codes and also how to reset um, reset uh, the codes um, you can do this by just disconnecting your battery and that that'll have the same effect but you, you can do it from from your um, from the connector um, so to, to start reading blank codes what what you can do um, is if you go to ABC you go to C2 and, and you put that pin to ground to any ground and, and what you do is initially you switch on your ignition and mine's uh, you've got to put a code in the car uh, it's got a keypad so if you've got that set up um, you have to put the code in um, so ignition on uh, if you've got a keypad put the code in and then put C2 to ground for, for, for five seconds and, and release that from ground and what you'll do you'll initiate uh, the start of uh, reading the blink codes from the ECM the and what happens is you'll get a blink of one it'll pause for a second then you'll get two blinks and that means it's going to start um, it's going to start reading out the blink codes um, so what you do then is put C2 to ground again um, five seconds same, same situation release it from ground and then it'll start um, giving you giving you um, codes again now if you haven't got any um, your engine management light wasn't on uh, which which mine currently is isn't um, that then you'll get the end of the code reading so you'll get a, a one little pause and you get two ones basically say so it's the end uh, but but if the engine management light is on on the car like mine has been in the past um, basically I, I'd got like five blinks um, then a pause then one which means uh, the oxygen sensor was at fault uh, which I've had that a few times, I've changed the oxygen sensor maybe three times now, um, and um, so so that's that's how you read it. Now, if you want to, um, without disconnecting your battery, uh, what you can do is to, to 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 reset your engine management light so it's not on. Um, obviously, after fixing your fault, or if you think it's just uh, a one-off situation, you can disconnect your battery. Or what you can do is uh, after the end the end when you've read your codes what you can do is put C2 to ground for for, more, for 20 seconds basically um, and that'll reset it um, okay so so if we, if we read this document here and it has all the codes on what you read on there so let's go to the top here it'll tell you which um, which car it's from so so basically 42 if you get a code of 42 it's injectors if you get a um, 43 knock sensor uh, 44 knock sent 45 ignition coil 46 then it goes down 47 so these ones I've had I've had 52 which is heated oxygen sensor um, 51 mean heat oxygen sensor 52 mixture control and then it goes down battery voltage uh, the ECM module um, 56 coded keypad 57 ignition coil 2 62 knock sensor uh, 63 heated oxygen sensor 2 so that's if you've got two oxygen sensors I've only got the one on mine um, 64 mixture control um, 65 crank position sensor uh, and then you've got 71 to 76 so uh, that's your injectors 1 to 6 um, yeah so, so they're, they're um, there, there are some of your um, blink codes, uh, your flash, flash type codes, uh, reading. Um, so on here, it just tell you about um, method one of erasing. 
and then um, so it's obviously switch on the ignition connect it to it um, and then it goes on about it but if you go to method 2 basically um, ensure the ignition's off disconnect the uh, earth lead for 10 seconds um, that's one way of doing it um, so what I'll do now is go to the car show, show you how how to do it um, so that'd be quite quite interesting uh, people with the older generations of uh, cars before OBD2 I'll show you show you how to do that um, so I hope this is um, I hope this is helpful um, to people um, who haven't got OBD2 Hi. So this is the Citroen Xantia, I will try it on. Right, so if we go to the uh, fuse box here, open this up. Um, and the first thing I uh, will do is put, put the ignition on. Okay. The steering lock's on, hold on. So put the ignition on. Um, so the engine management there comes on, and we'll put the code in. So the codes in. Uh, so the engine management light there is on, and that's what we'll look for. That'll start blinking and give you the um, blink codes. Okay. Um, but but here you'll see the connector down there. Uh, what I'll do, I'll get a light in. And uh, this is the connector you want to look for. Uh, basically, uh, that's the one um, which will will put C2 to ground. I'm going to use uh, this grounding point here, and um, we'll just put it to ground for five seconds, and then we'll be able to read the uh, blink codes, which we'll see on the dash here. So if you look here, that's uh, A, B, C, and that's C2. So if you put that one to ground for five seconds release it and then uh, you'll start uh, receiving your blink codes your flash code so you can see there that's row A uh, that's row B row C so it's that one uh, C2 you just put to ground for five seconds and that's it um, it's as simple as that and then when you've done that just go to your dash and then uh, you'll get the blink code so I'll show you that go I'm going to put uh, C2 to ground for five seconds and I'll, I'll show you what happens uh, it's not meant to be a professional video right it's just a home DIY one uh, which can help people so I'll put the ignitions now on um, I've put the um, code in so it's blinked there once if you keep an eye on this uh, engine management light um, we'll see um, we'll see what happens my car hasn't got a fault um, at the moment but it'll give you an idea of how to read the codes um, so if I put that now to ground for five seconds we'll see the start of the code um, so here we go one two three four five let go so here we go at the start of the code see it flashing there one one two and then it goes back on okay so there you go so one two what that means it's going to start uh, giving the codes I won't have any uh, so I go to the end um, so I'm expecting one one um, so we put I'll put it to ground now for five seconds one two three four five release from earth and it'll give me reading now one one and that's the end um, so it's quite a good example there of showing you how to read uh, blink codes without without any test equipment and if you've got Alexia 3 you don't have to do this uh, but this is more for a DIY person um, in doing that yeah so I hope it helps you if you have a Alexia 3 um, machine you basically can plug this in uh, that's one way of doing it plug that in uh, and then this bit goes to your, your scanner uh, so obviously I've shown you here the um, quick way of reading fault codes but that's all it'll do, just give you fault codes, won't give you any more information just uh, the flash codes um, but this is just just to show you here um, 
if you've got the connector. Now I've I've made myself one up here, um, so instead of um, touching touching on it, what I can do is another way of doing it. Uh, I just put I just put this to ground, uh, which is it's basically the same. C2 is the K K line, um, so you know that's what we're doing uh, when we're testing it. So if I just put the K line to ground, um, that's one way of doing it if you want to make up you can make up your own own connector but but that's a, just a simple way of showing you here um, by using your homemade um, device to read fault codes from from Zantia yeah it's just a, just a quick video I hope it helps um, anybody who wants to have a go at doing it themselves who doesn't have a Alexia um, <laughs> machine for for um, Citroens or Peugeot's the cable in that I've got. This is instead of using, um, you know, instead of instead of put it to ground um, like we've been doing. I've made myself a cable up um, here, um, just a bit more safer of doing it. And then I've got the um, the C2, which is which is uh, K line, and I can just uh, uh, put it to ground here for five seconds. Um, it's easier than fiddling inside here so it's another way of doing it so I bought one of these cables um, which converts it to a 30 pin 30 pin uh, connector you see and then just um, taking off the the bits that I need um, it's one way of doing it uh, it's an alternative probably a, a safer a safer solution which is what I'm currently using because uh, you've got to have a steady hand um, to try and uh, touch to earth C2 um, so it's a more safer idea of doing it. So I thought I'd just show show you that at the end of the video what I've uh, made up. So I can just I can just put it to ground um, and do do that, uh, which is helpful. Any questions on how to um, do this? Um, you know, um, quite quite um, quite up for showing you. And um, I can type up the codes and what they mean. Uh, I'll put that I'll put that in the description. Um, I'll type them in um, so you'll know what them, them fault codes um, uh, I mean um, so yeah ho hopefully it's helpful to anyone who's got an aging uh, Xantia and wants to read um, the code right a uh, bit more information what I've got here is um, a circuit diagram of the uh, the pinouts you know this is this is looking from the bottom one so the one we were on was uh, C2 and C2 is the um, let's turn it round. C2 is the ISO bus line L. That's the one we were putting to ground uh, for engine testing. The ISO um, bus line. Um, so that's the one we were using. Uh, C2. So I've got to have it upside down to show you what it was like in the car, really. So that was A, B, C, D. As as we looked at it, goes up to J. Um, and then it goes one, two, three. But but if we look down here, I'll turn I'll turn it round, and basically we'll we'll see what what each one corresponds to. Um, A one's permanent positive. A two after ignition switch positive. Um, A three's earth, uh, and then you've got B one taco signal. B two DTC diesel sensor. B three Taco. It's obviously if you've got a diesel car, mine was a petrol, so these don't. Um, the one we were on C2, ISO, C1, K line, uh, C3. Uh, basically, that's a that that one there. If, if you put an LED um, um, to to um, to positive, you'll get that you'll get that LED flashing. That's basically what you see on your dash, really, um, from C3. Uh, basically, that's that's uh, your codes, your codes coming out, um, which which we see with the, the flashing on the dash. Um, um, so, you know, you can actually put a, a light on 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 C3, and it will will uh, flash. And I've done I've done that in the past. Uh, but basically, you you've got to have power power on one side to the LED, um, and then put it to there, and, and it will flash. Um, so then you've got D2. Um, seat belt, uh, D3, engine running information, E1, ABS, E2, variable suspension, um, F1, 
air conditioning, H3 deadlocks and then you've got I1, I2 um, rear view, mirror control, alarm um, so th this is taken from, from the Citroen uh, workshop manual so th that's basically the pinouts um, for that connector that we have which was facing that way uh, as you looked at it um, so that's helpful to anyone um, the, the, the um, the ECU that's in my car is the Bosch one, the uh, uh, Motronic uh, M MP5.1, um, dash what you know, point one, point one. Um, so that, that that's the ECU that's in 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 the car, uh, the Bosch one. Um, so the the information that I got for the fault code was from uh, from Auto Data 2004. Um, that's the information that that I'd shown you right at the beginning. Um, so, you know the one, the one, uh, the one we used um, is on page two four seven of the manual, the Bosch, uh, the Bosch one MP five point one, which is the one that's in the car, uh, ninety three to two thousand. So, so that was the one, and there's various um, various ones in this document, ranging from, from AX. Um, it's quite a big document. Obviously, there's um, two hundred and fifty pages in this. Um, so on different cars, um, you're going to get different um, trouble codes, as they call them. Um, so, so for example, this is this one's from from the AX. Um, so on the, the different ones, um, we go through different vehicles. Um, this is a Saxo one, so exactly the same, and it tells you for different cars um, how how to do that. Um, to read your um, uh, trouble codes, um, so I oh, hope that's helpful um, to people, and, and obviously showing, you know, um, visually how, how to do that on on the car. Um, you know, there's not many people um, now that have um, aging cars <laughs> two th before 2000, and this is what you have to do before the OBT uh, two uh, standard uh, came up. Um, and that information I've got from today was from from the Auto Data um, ca catalog. Um, so hopefully it's helpful to people.